TV, what's good? It's your boy Rody, and I'm back with another review. This time I'm reviewing the new movie that just dropped, Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F. Me and my brother just came from watching it, and I'm telling y'all it's a must-see. Follow me on this review. Now, I know this is all about Dragon Ball Z, but I know y'all probably seeing my shirt and like, yo, who's that? It's Randall from Recess, and yes, it has my name on it. It's from my homeboy, Terrell. He made this t-shirt for me, and I just had to throw it on because it's hilarious to me. Because I am, I'll be a snitch, I ain't gonna lie. If you do something, I'm gonna tell. I, I don't care. <laughs> so yeah, this is the t-shirt I'm wearing. Even though it's Dragon Ball Z, you still gotta put a throwback in there to recess. I know a lot of my 90s kids know what's up. Now, one of the major pros in this movie is that the graphics and the animation in this movie is out of sight. A lot of the characters have been upgraded from their old coloring and shading that you may see from the TV show. So everything does look high definition and it looks way better than what you may be used to. As well as another big pro is that all the characters that are in the movie, they actually play a major, major part. Even from Master Roshi to Krillin to even Tien. All of them are very, very important in the fights and they get their shine throughout the movie. And side note, they love Whack, Chao Su, and Yamcha at the house. They said, y'all not important. Y'all just gonna get in the way, stay at the crib, let the big boys handle this fight. So that was really cool to actually see them not being so cared for all the other made up characters. They was focusing on people that could actually make a difference. Also, it was pretty cool that they allowed all the characters to be goofy and at the same time be serious. It got a good balance opposed to the last movie where I felt like it was just too goofy, wasn't enough serious fighting, and they just made a lot of the characters lose what their essence was. So this movie will definitely have a good balance and make you realize like, hey, they took their time and it's gonna make all the fans happy. Now, the main villain in this movie is of course the great Frieza. He's probably one of my favorite villains throughout the entire Dragon Ball Z series, just from him being the core villain that had multiple forms, kept up in the ante throughout all the fights, and made it seem like he was gonna win. Now in this movie, he is brought back to life from the Dragon Balls, and he does make some different changes that I'm not going to give away that makes it really, really difficult for Goku and everybody else to defeat him. Now, the one negative that I can say about this movie is that I do feel like Frieza was a little too easy to defeat. Now, this could be to the fact that it was to the power of Vegeta and Goku throughout this movie, but I do think it's too similar to how it was in the original series of Dragon Ball Z when they were on Namek. The fighting and how it escalated and de-escalated is a little too similar for me, but not enough for it to ruin the movie. But I just do wish that Frieza came back and was just like, yo, you can't beat me like you did last time. This is what I got for you. But in the end, it still was a good movie and hands down, the best one I've seen. So yeah, Frieza is definitely a good villain to have in this movie that makes everybody really, really on the edge of their seat throughout the entire thing. So, my personal feelings, this is one of the best Dragon Ball Z movies that I've seen in recent years and a great way to revamp the entire series for a whole bunch of new viewers. So, do you have the Dragon Balls? Uh, no, I don't have the Dragon Balls. Okay, I'll find them. I apologize, that was, that was a random yop yop moment. Sometimes, in any video y'all might see in the future, he may pop up and say something. I don't know. But back to the movie review at hand. It's definitely a movie that everybody should see, even if you're not a Dragon Ball Z fan. Just for the sake of it being an entertaining, fun movie, it's definitely going to cater to old generations and new generations to make you really, really enjoy it. This movie definitely gets the shot of me stamp of approval. So that's my Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F review. I definitely do advise you guys to take a look at it. Please do continue to support this channel. I really, really appreciate everything that I've been seeing from the channel. It's only been up for like two weeks and I do have a nice amount of subscribers and people that are currently and actively watching it and sharing it. It is going to continue to grow. I'm going to keep coming with reviews, video games, and music news. As well as down the line, I'm going to be adding video game playing on this channel. It's going to be including my friends, family, and people that you may not even know. Just to give you a little bit more entertainment. So y'all just stick with me on this and Shadowy TV is going to continue to grow. Peace out. Shadowy TV out.